Hello everyone, this is Amrit and welcome to another video. Today we are going to talk about a new film, Emulator Dehancer. First of all, I want to thank them for sponsoring this video. It is a pretty good tool for everyone. It doesn't matter that you are a beginner or pro. If you want to buy it, check the first link in the description and use my code in Dighton to get the 10% off. I will show you the tools they have in Dehancer Pro and also show you how they works. If you want to learn more about it, then I definitely recommend you to go to their website and read their blog on it. Or you can click on the second link in the description that will take you directly to their blog. So let's first take a look on the tools of the Dehancer. Has the input that you can give it like uh, what you are using it like uh, 709, 2020, ASUS or you can also choose camera which camera was shot on this video and then it's a film profile uh, that's uh, like lots they have like more than 50 film profiles I really like that and then has expand when you are going to apply this then you can take your black points up and down or white points like that and then here's a printer where you can set your contrast level, exposure, color density, saturation, everything here. And then there is a color head where you can uh, tweak a little bit colors. Uh, one another thing is film grain that you can apply here directly from here and halation and bloom that I will also show you what they do if you don't know that. And then you can apply vignette from here and also they have new film breathe and gateway. What they do, I want to show you for that a video from their website so you can know about that briefly how they work let me show you that video here's the video let's play this one you can see this is without film breath and this is with that and here you can also see with and without gate wave and together they create like an old film style look let's back to Vinci again and another thing they have false color where you can set your exposure level and everything and then here's an output where you can set the opacity level of it and then at the last you can also export a lot from here so you can apply it later on whenever you need so let's get into it and start our grid so firstly this video was shot on Arri and let's choose a camera for that Arri Alexa Mini, they have some profiles for cameras and it was log C, so it will apply Dex 109 LUT. And here you can also difference it or set exposure level, what you want. I'll leave it here. And then I want to apply a LUT. So for that, let's go and see which will fit to our need. No, I don't want that. I think I will go with that. From here, you can push it or pull. You can pull it back or push it further. It's depend on you what you want. My do it in middle. So from here, you can set the black point up or down, and also the white point. I don't want white points too bright this looks good you can see i only applied two things and how much difference we made with this one and from here you can also set the contrast levels what you want and also color density you can see from her cheeks and from lights and from here you can make it less saturated and more saturated I'll leave it there and from here in color head you can also like do it uh, combine these colors when you are going to move these uh, all colors combinedly you can see but i don't want that so i will break it up and do it manually so let's add a little bit cyan color to give it a greenish look because i am actually taking red from it and then Add a little bit green, and here I'm going to add a little bit yellow, not that much. Actually, I'm doing more because you can notice it otherwise. So, if I'm going to do it a little bit, you won't notice it in YouTube because of YouTube's compression. Let's go to the film grain. 
you can add it how much you want make it a bigger size let's make both bigger so you can notice it by pressing shift and f so you can notice from grain we are creating how much amount you want how much size you want everything you can set here and if you want to go back in perfect fit because i zoomed it a little bit just press shift and z it will go in its own space let's go in halation and enable it so what did halation you can see here in the lights it makes a little bloom outside of the light like red color you can notice that in mostly older films and that looks great to me and here is a bloom that makes lights a little glow it's like a glow it makes light a little bit glowish Right. You also can check what you are doing uh, or which parts you are doing it by pressing on mask. It will show you where it is affecting. And at last, you can add a vignette how much you want. More like white or black. It's on you. And I don't want to apply film breath and gate wave here. Now you can check how much difference we made in here and just some, some little tweaks. If you are new to color grading, then I definitely recommend you this film emulator because it's very effective and easy to use. So that's it for today guys. I hope you liked my videos. If you do, then don't forget to hit that like button and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me on my Instagram. I give my Instagram link in the description. If you have any question, then DM me on Instagram. I will respond as soon as possible and see you in the next video.